Yo, yo, yo. What is up, guys? Dorian from NJ Bike Life here. Look what I'm on. I got another Grom. Yep. That's true. 100% true, man. I got another Grom. It is another 2014 uh, black Grom. This, the white that you see, is just the vinyl wrap. No, uh, probably gonna end up taking it off, but it is wrapped white right now. So, like I said, that will be coming off shortly, more than likely. Although I do like the white; it, it photos really well. Uh, the the wrap was just done by my buddy and not done the greatest. So I'll be uh, definitely getting new new. Um, I'll just be going back to the black, the plain black color. Um, yeah, so I'm back on the ground. <clears throat> I have, this bike has knobbies on it. We'll go somewhere, I'll stop so you can check out the bike. But this bike got knobbies on it already, so I don't have to ever get knobbies. Um, it's already been tried and tested with VJ out in the woods, and it worked perfectly. I gotta learn how to fix the clock on these things too. If the mic sounds different, I had to, um, uh, how do I get this off again? What? It wasn't locked the whole time? Okay, it was locked. Oh, okay, just need a little, oh, gross. Gotta clean that. Um, yeah, the person that sold me the WR also sold me this bike so I am um, excited to have this bike I know it came from a good home whoa that escalated quickly it's kind of filthy me and VJ already hit the already hit the woods with this thing I had to clean the chain off a little bit Cause the chain got all in that messy. Let's see if I can do this clock real quick. I think you hold both of these down. Yep, look at that, first try. What time we got? 6.40. Sorry guys. But yeah, I got the Grom back. I don't think I'm gonna do as many mods as the last Grom that I had. Damn, I went up one too many. So like I said, it does have knobbies on it. It already has um, a fender eliminator and it already has a integrated tail light. So the only thing, if I were to do anything, it would be an exhaust, handlebars, 14 tooth sprocket. And that would be like the completed list of mods I would do to this bike. I don't think I would do the, the shocks again, the Olin shocks, or the rear shock, just because they were really pricey and I definitely won't make any money off the bike if I ever do decide to resell. But, I mean, those those shocks hands down, the YSS and the, the Olin's were, were really freaking good shocks. And like I said, if I were to do them, I would definitely do those same shocks again, but I don't think we're going to do them again. Even though this bike does and is probably only going to see off-road life because I have two other bigger bikes, so I don't have a I don't really have a reason to use this bike on the street. But I do like the the louder exhaust. It makes it a lot easier for cars to see me. Sorry if this angle is jacked up. <clears throat> and if the mic sounds different, I lost the, the dead cat that I had on the other mic. So now I'm just using like a standard, like what you would see on like an Xbox microphone type thing. Um, 
I do want different levers. The stock levers are, are just that. Their stock levers not that great. Look at all these people outside of talk out of outside of Bubba Coos tacos. Everyone wants that dollar taco. Yeah. Apple cider, is it? Oh, GNC. Yeah, I used to go to that gym. Not anymore. Because I'm fat now. And fat people don't go to the gym. So the first thing I did to this bike when I did get it was I took the... Um, hold on, let me fix this. I feel like it's a little bit off. But it's probably not, but... Maybe that should be better. But yeah, the first thing I did when I got this was I took the the lollipops off, aka the mirrors, and I took, the, oh, you know what? This is a good time to show you what the bike looks like. And I took off the uh, cool stickers, like the no helmet sticker and, or wear your helmet all the time sticker and stuff like that. I took those all off. So this is the 27 or 2014 Grom with the sick knobbies, white. It's got, like I said, the integrated taillights. Um, probably gonna get rid of the big tail uh, blinkers on the. Oh, look at this! I stopped right in all this glass. I don't know if the GoPro will show it, but it's literally all glass right here, and this is where I decided to stop. Headlights in a lot better shape than the other Grom was. Stock exhaust, probably gonna upgrade it, but again, you start putting money into it, you start losing money, so it's, it's a hit or miss. Um, integrated tail light stock handlebars but I took the mirrors off I took all the stickers off and me and VJ already hit the road and it was actually pretty good or we already hit the woods and it, it felt really good uh, the handlebars definitely could have felt better by being a little bit wider but it wasn't too bad Shout out to my boy Manny, seeing if he has any spare parts so I can buy them off of him rather than some random online. I'm just gonna go up here because I can. Get off the, the road for a little bit. Look at that little bunny, get over here. There's this couch in the middle of the road over there. But, yeah, I wanted to make this video to show you guys my sweet new Grom. I know I talked mad smack about the Groms before, but the way I'm looking at this Grom is it's not my commuter bike. It's not a go to a new hope bike. It's not a fun, like, ro like road bike. This is strictly going to be like an outdoor exploring bike. Um, I have the FC6. I have the, the VTX. And those bikes just... They're just, um, there used to be a trail back there. I wonder if the trail's still back there. They're, they're just, they're, there's no capabilities of them going off-roading, which sucks, because every time I'm with VJ, that's all I want to do is, like, explore off-roads and stuff. So, this bike is pretty much my somehow stay friends with VJ bike, and it, and it's fun. Yeah, there is still a trail here. I forget where it goes. Looks like it's going to the back of someone's house. Oh, I think I know where this goes. This is the dead end. Wow, I totally knew where this was. I don't remember this as a kid. But, yeah, check this out, guys. I can still wheelie Grom. Nice, dude. Rip that wheelie. These stock handlebars actually make it really easy to wheelie because... You, uh, you're already kind of high, and when you really, you pull up rather than pull down. And, like, it makes it really easy when you have these stock bars. So I might just keep them, but they're definitely awkward on the dirt. There's way too much metal. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say for the video. I uh, just want to let you guys know that I got a 2014 Grom. Hopefully I can get some more sick Grom vids for you guys. I know you guys are really starting to like them when uh, I had the other Grom. And me and VJ were traveling so far with that bike. So, I just, you know, looking forward to riding with more people. The Grom opened windows to go ride in the woods and opens windows to go ride in the dirt. And that's really what I want to do. So, 
Now I have three bikes. If anyone's looking for an FZ6 in the Monmouth County, uh, Central New Jersey area, let me know. I got one for sale. I don't know actually if it's for sale yet, but if you give me the right number, I'll sell it to you. I don't care. And you can say you got it from NJ Bike Life because you're famous. Well, I'm famous, and you could be famous too, because I'll leave the NJ Bike Life sticker on the side. So, yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Just wanted to update you on the Grom. Shout out to Eric for knowing that I was getting a Grom at, at the Bell. I, I told him something big was coming, and uh, he was like, no way, you got another Grom? So I, I had to tell him no, but Eric, you were definitely right. I did get another Grom. So... Shout out to all the pairs. Hope the hope the video quality. I mean, I hope the microphone sounded good. Like I said, it's a crap Xbox styrofoam thing, but we we do what we have to to get the job done. NJ Bike Life, Dorian, see ya.